What's up everyone, Safe Down here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Today I'm extremely excited because the past couple days have been extremely busy and we're gonna be talking about a little bit of everything that has happened with my eBay sales and also some on Facebook Marketplace as well. Let's get right into this. So a couple days ago, somebody messaged me wanting one of my NHL figures. Now I've sold pretty much all of them and they're the ones that I purchased for my first Flipping for Profit video. And they contacted me wanting one of the figures. Problem is, right now I'm currently staying with my girlfriends. So all of the items that I have to sell are back home, which is an hour away. So to get this figure, I'd have to drive an hour to get it and then an hour back to be able to meet up with this person. That right there is not worth it, but fortunately I did make two eBay sales, so I decided if I'm gonna make this drive anyways, I might as well pack up and get those eBay items ready and shipped. I technically didn't have to ship them right now, I could have waited until I was going to be back home, which is another week and a half, that's when I absolutely needed to have them shipped by according to my eBay, but I decided because both eBay buyers contacted me demanding them to be shipped just the day after they purchased them, they basically messaged me saying, why are these items not shipped yet? I decided to make the drive, get them done and get everything sent out and also pick up one of these NHL figures for the buyer for later this week. So I'm gonna be talking about the eBay sales in this video and I'm gonna be talking about the figure a little bit more. And I also realized there's an item that I sold on eBay a while back that I forgot to mention in one of these videos. So we're gonna be talking about that as well. So first, the item I sold a while back that I forgot to mention to you guys, that is a Transformers, I think it was a five in one or eight in one storybook, hardcover book. And I bought this at Value Village for literally $1, which was a great find. I sold it on eBay for $25, I'll put the sold comp up here, sold it for $25 and with $10 shipping. Unfortunately, because this was the first book that I've sold on eBay, I didn't realize how much it costs to ship books here in Canada. So if it was the United States, it would have been about $13 to $15 with media mail for this size of book and its destination. Unfortunately, here in Canada, we do not have media mail. So this one cost me $20 to ship. And how I shipped it, I unfortunately don't have any footage of that because I was just getting it shipped and sent out, not even thinking about a video. I basically bubble wrapped the book and then I made its own custom box to basically be the size of the book and I shipped it that way and it was only going two hours from me and it cost $20 to ship. So since I only charged $10 because this was my first book, I didn't realize how much it was gonna cost me to ship. That did eat away a little bit of my profit. So instead of $22 profit on this item, it equaled out to be about $12 profit when I consider I had to pay extra for shipping and with my eBay fees. But still making $12 profit on a $1 item is still really, really great. Now for my recent eBay sale, the first item again is another book that is the Star Wars complete cross sections I'll leave the sold comp up here for you guys as well for this one here I sold it for $15 plus $25 to ship now this one was going from Ontario to Alberta and again we don't have media mail so it did cost me the $25 I basically bubble wrapped it the same as my last book and that's how I usually am going to sell and ship my books from now on. I'm gonna bubble wrap them, but this time instead of putting it in its own box, I basically used a very large bubble mailer and I put it inside that and it shipped for, I think it was 21 or $22, plus the bubble mailer cost me $3.50 at the post office as well. For a $1 book, I sold it for $15. That equals out to be about $12 with eBay fees, and that equals out to be $12 profit on a $1 item once again. And the last eBay item that I sold is a Montreal Canadiens hockey card mystery pack that I put together and posted it and sold it on eBay. I sold it for $25. Five dollars plus ten dollars shipping this included about 15 cards there was one autograph two jersey cards a bunch of other inserts and I think maybe four or five base cards I can't quite remember but I'll leave the sold comp up on the screen for you guys as well now this here it came from my personal collection you guys know I collect hockey cards so I've been accumulating these cards for about a year year and a half now I do not collect Montreal Canadiens so I was every time I was getting them putting them together and I knew I was gonna sell them on a lot on eBay, which I've done before. And this one here, like I said, included an autograph and two jersey cards. So a little bit better cards than I've sold in the past for these Montreal Canadian mystery packs, but people love Montreal in the area. 
so I knew it was going to be kind of a quick sale and it was. It sold within a couple weeks. Now with the eBay fees, that's about $22. Now to say what is the profit for this sale, I really can't because it's stuff that I've accumulated from eBay mystery packs or buying boxes or just basically opening up hockey cards and pulling them myself. So it's not really $22 profit. It's just $22 in my pocket that I can put towards more collecting. To ship these, I basically penny sleeved all of the cards. I put one card in its own individual top loader and I put the rest into two very large top loaders without overcrowding them. I just split up the rest and the remaining cards into two very large top loaders. I taped them up, put them in their own individual team bags, and I shipped them in a bubble mailer, which is the safest way to ship hockey cards. This one here cost me about the $10 to ship it just because of how many cards there was. The jersey cards are heavier than regular cards, and because I put them in top loaders, so it did weigh more than what I usually ship them for, but that's why I charged the $10 shipping for this item. So once I had all of that done and everything shipped out, I went and I grabbed the figure before I headed back. Now I knew which one he wanted. I only had two left. He wanted the one that was Winnipeg Jets because that's all this guy collects. And I was selling it to him for $15. Now at the time of recording this, I've already met up with him and he's already purchased this figure. So I already have some great profit from my first flipping for profit video, but I'm gonna talk about the profit a little bit more in the future. Luckily while I was there, I also picked up the final one and posted it online and somebody is supposed to be picking it up today in a couple hours. That means I'll have all of my figures and all the items from the first flipping for profit video that I've done, which is amazing. It was really nice profit, but again, I'll talk a little bit more about the profit that I made for my first two flipping for profit episodes in a later flipping for profit video. Making the drive today, I'm definitely a little exhausted, so I'm just gonna rest, edit videos, and just relax, but definitely want to mention everything, show you guys not only some of my profits and sold comps for the items I recently sold on eBay, eBay, but also how I shipped them and got them ready to go. On my way back, I did pick up something to flip for profit, but since this video is already long enough, I'm going to save that for the next flipping for profit video and share it with you then. It's really awesome and I think it's a little bit of profit to be made and I'm really excited to share it with you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.